Welcome. I'd like to give some thought today to what I think of as one of life's greater questions. And that is, when do you decide that it's time to take action? Or when do you decide that it needs more thought or talk? Now, fortunately, for much of life, these things are very clear. It can be immediately obvious when to take action or immediately obvious that something needs more thought or conversation. But so often in the middle ground where things are not obvious, it's easy to get lost and run aground. And it's true that that can happen in either direction, in the direction of thinking too much or being too caught up in action. I've seen it happen to people I know and care about. And in the first case, it's, it's in many ways easier for some to continue to process a question or an issue or a problem and to go on and on and on and really be more comfortable with the processing than the notion of actually taking an action and doing something. Similarly, I've known other people who are so busy and caught up in constant action that they never really have the opportunity to consider what it is they're doing, what ultimately they're trying to achieve, or what they're doing with their lives. Okay, it's possible to be lost in either direction. So, what's the tool that can help? I think very simply it's this. Sometimes when you're lost in thought, or when you're wondering about what to do, or is this the time to take action, just step out of the thought and say to yourself, what if I took action right now? How would things be? What would happen? What would it look like? And maybe that will give you the information that you can do something or that it needs more thought. Similarly, if you're constantly busy with activities, force yourself to take a break, to step back from the process and give some thought to the questions of what did you attempt to accomplish in the first place? How are you doing? And is this successful and satisfying? In either case, examining the process is critical. Otherwise, we can just be lost. So, again, think about it for yourself. Where is that boundary between contemplation and action? Everybody has a different place at a different time for different problems, but it's a good thing to know about yourself.